Well, here's our first treasure of the day. It's another nice banded basalt. As we saw in the first video, there's quite a bit of this in here, which is really nice. And this is the, the smooth kind. This is not the porous kind, um, which is nice. Let's get it wet and see if it brings out any color. Okay, I'm not going to pull this one out because it's set here as a border. So, out of respect for whoever did the work, we'll just look at this here. It appears to be a nice quartzite of some kind. Definitely some bedding, as well as these weird eroded holes. Let's see what it looks like wet. Oh, really cool. Yeah, that's an interesting piece. See with my hand there how big it is. Yeah, I bet that would be gorgeous cut, cut and polished. There are a lot of interesting rhyolites in this mix of gravel. I'm pretty sure this is just another rhyolite. I have one of these that I've cut and polished and it's really pretty inside. This is nice material. Definitely has that spherical pattern. Let's see what water does to it. Boy, water almost makes it go away. Interesting. So it's a very micro crystalline pattern that we're looking at. Another by that I mean there isn't much difference between what we see as spots and what is the matrix. They're pretty much the same material, just with a very tiny crystalline difference. Yeah, I don't see the spots hardly at all now. Really nice piece of sandstone here. A little bit of a fault line right there. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Ugly and dirty, but you get an idea.